Welcome to Amira's World. Thank you for tuning in. I've been asked a lot about my weight loss and my journey and how I did it, especially in times in the pandemic. It's really hard to get disciplined. In this video, I will reveal my story of how I managed to lose 88 pounds, especially during lockdown and all without a personal trainer, a nutritionist or any expensive therapy just with the power of my mirror if you're one of the people who have been affected by mental illness through the pandemic please stick around as i will tell you my story of how i got myself out of depression the time i hit puberty when i was 14 i started to deal with health issues i was always kind of a very delicate body type i was never overweight or anything but things changed suddenly having weight gain my period was missing out i had acne and increased hair growth it was really the worst time of my life because i didn't know what's going on with my body and i was dancing i was like doing a lot of activity but my body was just not you know in sync with what was happening and so my mental uh, illness has turned into having depression and I used to like look in the mirror and I was crying and I was so you know I was so stuck in this situation I didn't know a way out I I was I just kept w putting on weight and the more I put on weight the more motivation I lost which and I isolated myself I stopped having friends I stopped going out I stopped everything what i i stopped dancing i stopped everything in 2012 i did reach my highest point which is 220 pounds it was literally my rock bottom i remember looking at the scale and i said to myself wow i'm almost 100 kilograms like the same day i felt rock bottom was the same day i said to myself enough feeling sorry for myself enough beating myself up and enough destroying myself some time before that i used to have a conversation with my mom about my struggles my mom used to always tell me wish it to the universe and i never really understood what she meant back then but it did stuck to me like what she was trying to tell me so i went into it i started to read books about it i started to watch documentaries look up certain authors as certain therapists celebrities that also believe in that who do they listen to who did they go to and you know research all that I started to apply those exercises on myself it was within days that i have transformed to this person who just saw hope in life you know just saw hope that i can still turn things around and so it was kind of a chain reaction like once i started thinking that way i had a certain kind of positive energy in myself which made me motivated to apply for the gym and going five times a week and just try starting to eat right you know just starting to just not eat junk all the time and in 2012 i moved to egypt and i was recommended shortly when i came uh, to see another doctor who was a gynecologist to check my condition where he found i had pcos polycystic ovary syndrome is a hormonal disorder common among women of reproductive age women with pcos may have infrequent or prolonged menstrual periods or excess male hormones androgen levels the ovaries may develop numerous small collections of fluid and fail to regularly release eggs you know i was in shock about that but at the same time i understood that because i applied those techniques and mental exercises my ways have opened to places that i never thought i would ever come that i was brought to the right people to the right doctors who knew my condition and me being just motivated and saying i was able to do it on my own and i was positive and i was open to the world again and and it led me to the right people so march 2020 i flew to germany i was visiting my family and my business in egypt was striving starting my own 
artist booking agency. You know, I had major plan plans for this year, but then came Corona. Flights were canceled, clients called off their major events. One of the people who were really directly affected by the pandemic in every way possible I was left with nothing, just time and many thoughts in my head, including worries and how things will continue. In that moment when I felt that worry, it took me back to that time when I felt rock bottom with my 120 pounds, felt stuck, hopeless and didn't know a way out. So I told myself before I'm gonna get into that cycle, I need to already pull myself out and not get into that again. I decided to go even deeper into my research, created schedules for myself every day in order to have routine, waking up in the morning, doing the mental exercises and the feeling of achieving just little things in the day was already giving me happiness. By doing all these exercises every day, it led me to having the best year of my life, which turned into an explosion of self-motivation, discipline, and peace within that changed my life to, to the most important and enlightening year so far. Not only it was about losing weight, I just feel like I'm my healthiest. I can work out in the morning, I was never that type. I used to sleep till 3 p.m. thanks to my work. So how can a person at his rock bottom or someone, you know, be able to flip the switch and, you know, get to this point of like saying, okay, let me do that change for myself. I need to turn things around for myself for the better. It all starts in the morning in front of your mirror, mostly while you get ready to work school you're starting your day in general let me take you back in time to be more precise let's go back to today's morning while i was getting ready and i'll show you how it's done hey guys so welcome to my mental and beauty session where i'm gonna take you through my mental exercises you sit in front of the mirror you think of a lot of things like today what are you gonna do or um, oh, I'm so not looking forward to going to work today or oh my god Why do I look so tired or you know, you have all kinds of kind of worries on your mind during the pandemic people I think are swirling in so much worries I realized that the morning was crucial to set it right in order to change your life and change your motivation about everything even in challenging times so my morning routine was always like first just for me and setting my intentions and i was able to be ready to take on the day and used to love doing as i used to apply makeup in the morning and this is where my thoughts were always you know swirling around but when you just know how to deal with the power of makeup of just enhancing yourself and not changing yourself it creates a certain power within you so we're gonna get ready together let me tell you one of the first exercises this is one day you're gonna have to take time for and just monitor your mind like what am i telling myself when i used to be at my lowest the most thing that helped me out of get just getting out of this deep hole was just being grateful for things. So, you know, when I catch myself just saying, oh, I just don't feel good or something, you know, what I did to make it more, you know, accurate for you, I used to have post-its or I do have post-its. And whenever I had a negative thought, I just take a pen and I used to write the opposite on it. And I used to write like, thank you for another blessed day. So thank you for another blessed day. I took it and I hanged it on my mirror. I'm so overweight, I need to lose weight. I tried to find the opposite of the thought and say, okay, I love my perfect body. Okay, I did that when I was 220 pounds, 100 kilograms. I had to do that so I could just, you know, believe in myself. So 
let's say you are stressed with your relationship oh god i'm always fighting with my boyfriend or we're having so much issues or he doesn't love me or i'm not happy or even i'm not in a relationship back then i was single even so i write i have a loving relationship with my partner so even if you don't have a partner i want you to still write this down i used to have a lot of pimples in my face like acne so much you're not allowed to say the words that are the problem you don't write i don't want to have acne you have to just write the positive thing my skin is pure and clean all the time if you like hate something you just have to say what did do you love like do you love what would you love to see like in your body if you're not happy with your tummy or you're not happy with your arms or whatever then you have to say something like i love my super toned arms and write it down and put it on your mirror the important thing is by doing that is that it can if you have those post-its on your mirror then you will always look at them when you get ready so you write down everything you need to reverse in your mind and in the morning you just look at those things so you can just train your mind to become positive and just be grateful just try to find something like you're grateful for like if you even have health issues you know i know people also suffer under health issues and all that i still want you to try and write that down thank you for my health thank you for my health sorry i wrote it a bit wrong but this is also important because it will help you find your way to health because when i did it i also did not know about my condition of pcos and when i was writing these things down i was led to the right people to the right doctors you know to the right place to be able to find out my condition and deal with it so that is an important thing that you did and take this time one time only to post it pen mirror thinking just analyzing your thoughts and just saying what am i telling myself and if you don't have so much time in one day just write down your negative thoughts for a second and when you have the time reverse them to the positive on a post-it and then you can put it on your mirror so you did that so i just want you to look at those posts and every day when you're in front of the mirror just tell yourself thank you for another blessed day thank you for another blessed day and i want you to feel it i just really want you to just really say it like say it loud i'm not saying loud it's important because it's not about what you tell yourself it's about what you're feeling and but those post-its will help you at some time you might not feel it the first time or the second time but at some point you are gonna start feeling it when i used to have no boyfriend i had this all hanging already and i used to tell myself i have a loving relationship with my partner i have a loving relationship with my partner and this is also this is what i tell myself to this day you know we all know it's not always like perfect so you do want to have like always a harmonious relationship so i would do a separate video for this point but let's just start baby steps okay the next is my skin is pure and clean all the time my skin is pure and clean all the time and i just want you to just like do like meditation on your on your post-its it was hard to love my body so i had to put this post-it and say I love my perfect body. I love my perfect body. I love my perfect body. It's important to do that. So let's get to the next step. Everyone has good features about himself that makes him special. Whether it's even like a gap in your tooth, a mole, eyes, lips, ears, hair, breasts, ass, I don't know, or butt, sorry. I'll say but so i want you to just pay attention to your body and just see what you actually like about yourself and i just want you to forget about what you don't like about yourself at the same time as well i want you to write it down because it's important let's say i write i love my eyes and i used to hang it 
so I can just keep saying, oh, my eyes are really nice, you know? Or, you know, I love my nose. I want you to use love as of the world because I want you to start loving yourself. So I love my nose. Highlight whatever you love about yourself most. Let's say in your face. As you can see, I'm not doing any crazy makeup. I'm just doing makeup, you know, to feel good about myself for work, for school, for dinner, for dates. I, I used to hide myself and now I just want to enhance myself. So I told myself that I love my eyes. So what I do is I highlight my eyes. Let's get to the third point. I'm sure you know a certain person who you meet and she has a certain scent. Either it's seductive or it is super, she feels, she smells super expensive. She smells elegant. She smells just so good. And I used to like understand that certain scents do empower you just make you feel that oh i feel good like i smell good so and one of my favorites my absolute favorites is the tom ford black orchid <laughs> um to be honest like i wished it for myself i really wished it so much and i said i want to have this perfume i want to have this perfume i know it's expensive and i got it as a gift so I'm just telling yourself, wish it for yourself and maybe someone's going to give it to you as a present or give it by yourself a present. It's an, it's worth the investment. You have it for a long time. You only need one spritzer. You put one spritzer here, which is like that, and you rub it and you go under behind your ears, just like that with where you just put it behind on your arm wrists, whatever your scent is if it's light or flowery or intense and feisty take your time finding your right perfume and it will make a change brush my hair a little bit fourth and last step i used to do before i leave the house or before i get my day start is i used to like use those few minutes and just visualize good times let's say you want to travel to paris and you just imagine yourself having a cup of coffee and at the Champs Elysees and you're sitting there and you're just having that coffee and or some dream like just a dream that you have I used to like always love to visualize myself in a music video you know something very so cool like me being in the music video and dancing and I'm like one of the main dancers and one of these things came actually true a few months ago i was asked to be part of uh flying steps uh music video of a friend of mine's dance crew uh, i was not one of the dancers but i was one of the the extras that were kind of in the music video that you could have seen but it was already like the first step of like oh my god i'm in i'm in flying steps video like that's so cool like, doing these things combined in the morning which i can only talk out of experience because this was how i started and losing 88 pounds um, only happens when you start with from within so important is step one show gratitude feel gratitude write down what you're grateful for and stick it on your mirror plus write down your negative thoughts or reverse them and then write down the positive thoughts and stick it on your mirror number two focus on your best features there it's your eyes your nose your lips your ears your hair your nails your hands whatever it is i want you to highlight them and i want you to say to yourself how much you love this about yourself number three find the scent that is for you that represents you whether flowery light and you know fairy taley or fierce and feisty and you know wish it for your birthday or buy it for yourself as a gift as a good investment number four visualize good times uh, visualize just anything that is fun for you which you would love to see and feel feel them taste them if you're at the beginning then this video is good for you to do at least for you can do this to up to 30 days just this exercise and if you are ready you can like 
continue to the next step, which I will do in another video with what do you do next when now you have a certain thing you want to take care of, but your mental uh, your mental state is now stable and ready to take it on. And to, if you like the videos, please subscribe or follow me on my Instagram, my social media. If you like this video, I hope it will make you feel good. And that's the only goal I have. And I'll see you on the next one. See you. Bye.